Welcome to the Average Rook. We are still playing Anno Mutation. We got ourselves a level 3 card after going through those stupid murder balls and those stupid traps and the stupid grammatical and punctuation errors. But now we should hopefully be getting somewhere with our new card. So let us use that card. We'll first go, uh, well, let's see. Let's take a look at the map and see where we should be going. So we've got a few areas that we can look at. But we need to get back to here. So we would have to go through the bottom door there. Possibly. Either that or somehow make it to the top. I don't think we will be able to. But we would have to go through that main area. Do a lot of stupid stuff going around and around and around to get up to the top. To go through that door so we can get to the chest that's in this area. Well, this area bulk area right here. It's not even research base resource area, whatever. But before we do go into there, I want to try all of the doors that we can find here. I uh, there's none. There's one here that we can use. Alright, so what's here? We've got access to some box. Oh! We got ourselves a new weapon that we can look at. We'll look at that just in a bit. I want to, uh, I might actually get that last. Because I want to save that. That That's going to be my final reward. Arsenal equipment registration log. Grenades, thermo and electro times 50. Munition boxes times 15. Way too little need to get supplies to send more. Type Z auto riflers times 10. Johnson gun times 1. I think this was meant for the higher level boys and girls. But it's freaking me out. Probably the fact that it grows back ammo. Need to get it out of here quick. What do you mean it grows back ammo? Does that mean that this is an organic gun? Does that mean when we use it, it's actually going to corrupt us? <sighs> Strange notices. Hmm. But it looks like there are supplies over there. Yes. And this would be the Johnson gun. I'll get that last. Up at the top, there is this door that we can unlock. Let's see what's inside it. A can that contains a power cord and a special shaped bolt. Of, uh, what's this? Whatever it is, we can't seem to access it. We've got a chest that contains blood vine and ice weed, which is pretty nice. And that is it for us. On the second floor, there is this door that we can open. This is apparently the screening room. Let's see what goodies we can, uh, pilfer here. On this side, we get an examinable. Research base level 1 security measures. When unauthorized area changes or transfer of items by research base personnel occur, or when department supervisors exercise their authority when not on a mission, or when there are changes in environmental parameters such as temperature, humidity, and lighting in the base, or when clerks trigger the alarm, immediately activate level 1 security for the research base, dispatch a security team to investigate the abnormality, and submit a report to the corresponding area supervisor. We will confirm and respond to the situation before turning off the security alarm. I'm guessing that's a relatively okay security measure? <coughs> Sorry if my voice is kind of thrashed. I was screaming quite a lot in the last episode. In this one we get cracked motherboard, abandoned me memrister, and a mini charger. We can't activate the bubbler. Okay, uh, can't really affect that. Whoa, what the hell? That appears to be a healing pool, but it's red. What the hell is that? That looks like Sigrid. What the hell is going on? And that, what is... It's like she turned herself into... What the hell even happened? I don't know. I don't know. I don't exactly want to find out, but I might have to. On the other side, we have this door we can unlock. That got unlocked, not unlocked. We get, uh, what is this area, by the way? It is the data monitoring center. Tickle grand. Oh my god. The hell even is that? A known animal's bone, low temperature smelted metal. Super hard ceramic. Is the experiment still underway? 
Yeah, the supervisor didn't ask to stop that project, so we kept documenting it. It must be boring to stare at those monkey-like creatures every day, isn't it? But a space there... You know what? It is actually fun. Oh? Say nothing to the supervisor. Ahem, <clears throat> of course. Even after such physical deformation and losing all their memories as a human, those things can still react precisely like humans in many ways. Really? Haven't they forgotten they were humans? Well, the impact of drug trials can vary. Certainly some subjects are less affected than others. That said, what happened is theoretically impossible. How beguiling. Now I'm tempted to transfer to your department. Don't. Leave my job alone. It makes me feel like... God. And it is easy and fun. Not many jobs out there can beat this one. Oh, come on. I have no idea what, like, shenanigans they're coming up with, but this just doesn't seem right at all. Like, what even is it? Oh, there's a cyber neko at least. Uh, opening this up, we get a bear pool. And more examinables. Analysis of the mechanized tissues of the respiratory tract in different conditions led to the following conclusions. The mechanized tissues had no abnormal secretion under normal conditions. When the oxygen concentration was above 50 vol atmospheric pressure, the mechanized tissues showed gas discharge. However, no gas samples were obtained for analysis. When the oxygen concentration was below 3 vol, the mechanized tissues secreted a small amount of liquid-like energy that was deposited at the base of the lungs. It disappeared in 13 hours. In particular, after intense stimulation applied to the, sus to the subject resulted in pulmonary vascular hemorrhage. Some of the thicker mechanized tissues fell off and bonded with the hemorrhage spots. It is presumed to be the healing mechanism of mechanized organisms. I'm hoping that the, uh, the Mechanica virus was not actually on purpose. All right, the last area to go through is this door here. And I imagine it's gonna take us into some combat, some jumping, some traps, some puzzles. All manner of things to annoy the hell out of me. So let's go. Okay. Warning shot. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Before I go through there, I completely forgot. I was gonna go get the weapon. Uh, that's at the... I think that was actually at the top, maybe. Unless it was through here. Uh, no, this was it. Okay, let's see what it's like. Nobody messes with us now. I bet even Horrorball can't survive this. Horrorball. So, the focus module storm ram. Hold R2 to charge, then release to fire the laser gun. So it's like... So it's like the, um... It's like the rocket launcher, but just a beam weapon. So it's probably one unit per beam. That's a little bit annoying. Well, let's just take a look at it anyway. Yeah. Range weapons. So we got this, we got this, and then we've got this. So we've got three of those. It's slow. It's got a hell of a lot of attack. Though often mentioned in the same breath as the Chicago typewriter, the module doesn't derive its name from its characteristics, but a, barist but a barista's love of it. To this day, everyone in blank still avoids mentioning its name. Hmm. Okay. It also says focus module. I'll probably only end up using it for the much, like, tougher enemies, like the really tougher ones. Like the horror ball. Or as I like to call it, the murder ball. Alright, let's attempt to press on. There might be more of them. Might just want to put this back, just in case. Alright. Let's do normal- what the... Oh, that was just a shadow thing, okay. It's just down there. Please let that be the only thing that's down there. There's more particle ammo. Alright, there's, there's gotta be more. Just going to appear randomly. I'm not gonna like it when they do. Uh, that'll take me... Take me around the side. Unlock. Okay, that takes me around here. There's going to be a door at the bottom that I should take a look at. That'll at least get me to the... Because there's another chest, I think. Okay, that takes me... That gives me some digital in. 
Let me just take a look at my backpack for a moment. Okay, I've got a lot of these HE grenades. I might have to use those at some point. And I've got myself a lot of digital in. Definitely not encountering the stim shots anymore. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh god, it's one of these. Just gotta be careful. There's a very large area that might be boss worthy. Alright, let's hop across. I wish I could actually just like look down there. Oh god. Okay, he's dead. Oh god. They're playing bombs. Gotta get you. Okay, so, um, now that I know- Stop laying those things down! Oh god. Just get rid of the normal enemies. What is shooting me? Oh god! Shit, I'm about to die. Now stay down there for a little bit while I attempt to deal with this. Son of a... Ugh. We definitely aren't safe here. Alright, let's move through. Now we seem to be... Where even are we? Okay, we seem to be on the other end of this gigantic area here. We were supposed to go to there, but we weren't able to hack it. Also, there appears to be like a door that we missed on the side here. Oh, it's gonna be ages. I won't be able to get to there. Maybe there's some important stuff there, maybe, but I, I can't be bothered doing so. I just gotta move... Where do I even want to move? Uh, there is a... Uh, there is a door, an encrypted transit chamber. That looks important. Uh, I might move back there, see if I can actually get through that encrypted area. And through here. And through this. I don't the know. Teleportation tech must have brought us here. What do you mean teleportation tech? No, it didn't. Wait, was I not even supposed to be here? What do you mean the teleportation tech brought us here? So I went around. I like completely. I must have like uh, I wasn't supposed to be up there yet. I guess I'll go back to there eventually. So where do I want to go now? Alright, so there's a, there's a door that I can uh, deal with there, and there's also something at the end there. If I don't end up finishing this thing, I might go to that in my own time, because I can't be bothered doing so on camera. So the only other place that we can go to is there, followed by the... Oh wait, no, that is the... No, that's a completely different passage. It's that passage that we need to go to. We'll attempt to go there. Alright, presumably if we head through this doorway, We'll end up on the other side of that area. Here should be the research facility's exit. I wonder how far down central intelligence is. I've got no idea. I want to try and get to uh, the central command. Hopefully in this one episode, though it may not even happen. 
Oh, God, I can't even go through there either. All right, um, up, no, down. Uh, how much combat will we have to do in this area, I wonder? Is some people dead? Like, what even happened here? It's like a massacre of sorts, but I don't know, like, what could have even caused it? All right, well, let's take a look around at least. There's a door that we can go through over there. There's a central area. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be going into there. We are. Poor doctor person. I guess he died for science? No access card on him, though. I guess we... Oh. Hey, watch out! I wasn't supposed to go here, was I? I should have gone through that door. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, great, another testing facility. Go away! I don't want to be another bloody experiment. Oh, it's you! Hi, I was wondering if we- when we were going to come across you. Should I waste my ammo on it? That really doesn't do much. Okay, got that ow, it still hit me. No wonder that Doc Allen had access to that ROM, because it was a prototype, or it's like a... It was like an analysis of what they were working on down here. He was a shady son of a bitch, wasn't he? Ow. God damn, that hits like a truck. Uh, I can't even see. I'll piss off. Run. Not gonna get hit by that thing again. Let's try some of this. Okay, can I get... Oh, no, that didn't even let me. Oh, God! Uh, stupid! Oh, God. Oh, come on! I'm never gonna get this area finished in time. It's gonna be a four-parter this time. Right, in order to get through this, I need to be a little bit more, uh... No, let's just use this to begin with. Alright, got you. Running. Okay. Got hit a little bit. I gotta be a little bit better on the blocking. Ouch. Running. Ugh. Oh god, 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 no. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ugh. 
Oh, God, please, no. Why am I using this weapon? I need to be... this. In order to get through that, I had to use all of the plasma weapon ammo. The plasma weapon ammo. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyway. I wasted it. I should have saved it for other things, but I'm an idiot. I just wanted to get it done. And he's still... Not dead. Where did you get that weapon? Oh, darling, that was just wow. I don't call that wow. Wait, isn't that the lizard from Alan's combat simulation? It was. Must be one of his experiments, I guess. Mm-hmm. He just works for them. That's exactly what's happened. Oh, look, something I can hack. I've got a few minutes, I suppose I can do that. Just want to look around a little bit. So that's what it was before. God damn. Let's see what else that we can. Uh, it's examinable. Project synopsis. It's a gigantic reptile that shares a lot of biological characteristics with the lizard. Also referred to as Varanus, the variant, has the ability to penetrate and lurk in various matter densities. Alright, let's try hacking this thing. Okay, so that's how it modifies. And there we go. So that hacks all of them. I guess we'll be able to access the entire area now. Okay, but do I want to do any unable to use maps in the current area? What? Alright, so what happens when we use this? Elevator shaft. Get what? Let's look for that monkey in a lab coat. Okay. So there seems to be still a lot more that we have to explore in this area. That's a little bit annoying. What's a little- what's even more annoying is that I have already run out of time. So what happens when we do this? So that brings that down there and we can explore the rest of the facility. I think I might just do that in the next episode, unfortunately. Alright, we've explored a gigantic chunk of the research base, and now we have access to pretty much anywhere in the facility that we want. Off screen, I'm probably going to do just a few touch-ups to see if I can explore everything that we can, and then in the next episode, we're gonna try and find that monkey and get to the inner consortium. So, thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there. Like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Check the corresponding playlist assuming something turns up or one of the recommended that pops up below it. I'm the Average Rook and I shall see you soon, for there is more average content coming your way!